what's good what it do you already know it's your girl Nayla Lavelle and I'm back at it again with another video and if you didn't know now you know welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how I installed my wig for my birthday the hair will be in the description box below and without further ado let's hop right in so already as you can see I have showed you guys the wig the unit and yes you saw those knots were definitely not beautiful <laughs> okay so right now i'm just getting the bleach ready so i can actually go ahead and bleach the knots um when you're doing this make sure you guys wear gloves because you don't want chemical burn on your your hands trust me it burns like hell and remember you want that consistency to be very thick not super thick but you need it thick enough where you can smear it and so that it doesn't leak through the lace so I use the back of the spoon to smear the bleach on and I'm going to do about two to three layers of this and I'm going to let it sit for 10 minutes. Okay, so we're back. Those knots are definitely looking really good, nice and golden. That's what we love to see. So I'm just prepping my hair so it can go into this protective style for about three weeks maybe. And I'm just gonna put this wild grow in. Trust me all. Well, for me, wild grow really grows my hair. I love it. And I'm gonna continue to use it for a very long time. So I'm just tucking my braids and I know my braids look dookie because I literally braided my hair in 20 minutes. I never braided my hair that fast. Like I just braided it enough, but who cares? It's going under a wig anyway, right? So I'm just wiping down my perimeter with some alcohol and I'm going to sew the back of my wig cap with some needle and thread. Right here, I'm just going to cut some holes for my ears. This will give the best bald cap method. So we're just going to go ahead and spray some got to be on the perimeter of my hairline and we're gonna smear that all the way from ear to ear and we're gonna let it blow dry i usually let mine blow dry on warm but if you can't take the heat then baby girl <laughs> you're gonna have to use cool and it's gonna take longer so yeah as you can see i am cutting off the excess cap and i'm actually gonna go back in with some glue and glue the cap down as well. So we're going to take this glue and we're going to smear it all over the cap 
Like I said, I always use glue and the got to be to get that cap really, really, really melted into my skin. And I just take a tail and I smooth it in and I blow dry on warm, as I said before. While I wait for it to dry just a little bit more, I am going to go ahead and pluck my wig just a little bit more than I did before. I did pluck it before, but I am going to go ahead and pluck a little bit more. Um, I'm not going to be showing you guys too much of this because I already have a video of me plucking a different unit. So if you want to see that video, it will be in the description as well. So right now I'm just separating the hair from the frontal and the tracks because I'm actually going to be doing a half up half down with this wig. Um, not that I don't know what you guys be doing. I don't know what type of half up half down y'all be doing but that's not half up half down. And if I can find a photo of what I'm talking about I'm going to put it in here. Yeah that's definitely not half up half down. I don't know what that is that's more like a I have no idea but this is an actual half up half down so I'm just gonna part a little bit of some hair over those tracks to cover them and I'm gonna put some makeup on my cap to start looking like a baldy. And I'm going to wipe up any messes with the alcohol. Um, oh, I also do put makeup on my actual frontal simply because it gives a better look and it makes it look more natural and some advice for you guys i would really really advise for you guys to always get a wig with a transparent lace simply because if you get a lace and you pick medium brown it might not always be your skin tone so having transparency is great because you can always use makeup to make it the exact color that you need it to be And when you're cutting the lace off guys you don't want to just start cutting in a straight line no you want to cut along the grooves of the hairline you want to you want to cut rigidly and ragged you don't want to cut just straight like you're cutting a piece of paper and it's okay if you cut some of the hair off the hairline it's not gonna hurt you it actually will make the install look a little bit more natural I usually put about two layers of lace glue on my wig cap slash forehead just a little bit this gives a longer lasting install um, the further back you put the glue the longer it'll stay stuck to your head um, I usually put it on the wig cap and slightly over the wig cap where it meets my forehead but not too much because you don't want your baby hairs touching your eyebrow now do we and I just melt that lace into the glue with a rat tail comb so now I'm about to separate the hair 
and go ahead and try to do my baby hairs once I get this hair out of the way and put up into a ponytail. So I am going to pluck my baby hairs because we don't want those to be super thick because that is not okay. Baby hairs are not thick, they're actually kind of sparse and a little thin, so we're going to make them like that. By the way guys, I was rushing, I don't know if y'all could tell, but I was literally rushing doing my hair this day because I had an appointment to go to. And I only had about four hours to get ready. And my hair took me three hours to do. So yeah, guys, um, on another note, I also use the Got To Be Spray to actually lay my edges down. I never use edge control or mousse. I always use the Got To Be because you don't want that lace to lift up after you just did all that work. So I spray it one more time and I go ahead and tie it down with a scarf and while I let this sit I'm going to be focusing on other things so I can hurry up and finish getting ready. And I don't really wear makeup, so that's really all I'm doing is putting on lip gloss and liner or whatever. And my lashes. That's pretty much the look there. You're going to see the finished look once I take off my scarf. I am spraying some water in my hair, putting some leave-in conditioner, and I will be putting some mousse in the hair to hold the curls. So yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It wasn't necessarily a tutorial, kind of was, kind of wasn't, but I hope you guys liked it anyway. Oh, the install is beautiful. I really enjoyed my birthday. I felt like I looked really nice. Right now I'm just blow drying it a little bit and kind of stretching the curls out. but. That's pretty much the look. Here are some videos from my Snapchat and how the install really came out. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave us a subscription, leave a like, and turn on those post notifications. And don't forget to comment. See you guys soon in my next video. Thanks and goodbye.